I'm home. newspaper a month ago and I still haven't gotten a nibble. Well, Ralph, maybe it's the way you worded it. What does it say? Yeah. Well, <sighs> lonely, unemployed, myopic male. <laughs> prone to allergies and skin conditions. <laughs> no hobbies, seeks woman with similar interests. <laughs> use why, why do I even bother trying my life is futile look on the bright side dear you're not alone Kirk is frustrated and desperate John is lonely and miserable and Kate's life is an emotional wasteland <laughs> well that seems like a good place to stop for tonight see you all next week You know, actually, Louise, I've sort of become involved in something that's given my life new purpose and direction. Hey, that's great, Kate. What's, what sort of thing? And by any chance, does this involve a man? Uh, no, actually, it's a woman. That explains a lot. <laughs> Kirk, this isn't romantic. It's political. I've decided to work for one of the candidates in the upcoming congressional election. Well, who's the lucky candidate? Well, her name is Eleanor Guthrie. She's creative, she's innovative. She doesn't take the same tired old positions. All right. <laughs> I'm Freddie Broyle can come up with some new positions. <laughs> Would you give it a rest, Kirk? I think it's great that Kate has found something very fulfilling in her life. Thanks. Oh, we could all do with something like that. <laughs> Louise, does this mean that you might want to get involved in the campaign? No offense. Dear, but I can't imagine anything more dreary than all that stamp licking and envelope stuffing. <laughs> well, are you sure? Because we could use some more women. There, right now, there are so many men. That... Still, <laughs> some sacrifices have to be made. Count me in. I, I'd like to help too, Kate. Oh, great, well, John. Huh? Uh, what about you? Uh, no, I don't think so, Kate. I'm not really a very political person. Oh, well, you know, there's a rally tomorrow night. Why don't you at least come down and hear what Eleanor Guthrie has to say? Well, I... Well, I guess I should try to keep an open mind. All, all right, I'll go, I'll go. Oh, this is going to be fun. Oh, I yeah. can't wait. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I think you'll all find this very exciting. Uh, wait, 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 wait. What do you mean, all? <laughs> Nobody asked me. That's right. <laughs> You know, Kate, you were right. Getting involved in this campaign has been very rewarding. I know. For the first time in years, I wake up every morning looking forward to the rest of the day. Can we take a break, please? <laughs> Why, dear? So my tongue is stuck to my lip. Well, no wonder, Ralph, you're supposed to use the sponge. Um. You're right, that's so much better. You know, Kate, I'm really impressed with you, Mrs. Guthrie. I think she's a very inspiring woman. I couldn't agree with you more. I guess we better take that break now. Here. Kate, what are you wearing to the campaign party tomorrow night? Hmm, I haven't decided 
again. Oh, that's right, the party. I still have to rent a tuxedo. What party? Who said anything about a party? John did. Party? Party? No, no, no. No, no, you misunderstood. What I said was, boy, that Eleanor is really a credit to her party. Yeah. <laughs> her political party. Part of your famous two-party system. <laughs> oh, hi, Kirk. Are you coming to the party? <laughs> what party? He's not invited, Ralph. Now, wait a minute. What are you saying? You're saying there's a party that Ralph is invited to, and I'm not? Doesn't seem possible, does it? <laughs> Kirk, Ralph has devoted all of his free time, which is a considerable amount, <laughs> to helping Mrs. Guthrie win this election. Now, she, in turn, is having a party to thank those of us who have volunteered on her behalf. What are you talking about? I volunteered on her behalf. Yes, but I don't like you. <laughs> oh, Kate, please, Kenny, come, please. How can you say no to that face? Well, all right. All right, you can come. Oh, that's great! It's tomorrow night. All right. It's at 7.30. All right. And it's black tie. Black tie? That's right. So if you have to rent a tuxedo, you better hurry, Kirk. All right, all right. 7.30 tomorrow night. I'll be there. <laughs> hey, you guys forgot to tell me where. <laughs> Yes. I just love the way you've decorated this apartment. Oh, thank you. And you've done your bedroom exactly like mine. Except for that vulgar mirror over the bed. I don't have a mirror over my bed. No, dear, I do. <laughs> Ladies, how you doing? Taking a little political survey, I want to get your feelings on a couple of propositions. Which in particular? Um, how about this one? Okay. One against. And in four years, possibly the governorship. Hmm? Thank you. And later on, who knows? You know, a woman in the White House isn't out of the question. Yeah, if she doesn't mind moving into a cheaper neighborhood. <laughs> hi, Kate. Hi, John. Oh, hi, Ralph. Oh, hi, Ralph. Don't you look... Supportive. <laughs> John, you're not wearing a button. Oh, yes. Well, Ralph, I must have left mine home. Well, that's no problem. Take as many as you want. <laughs> well, no, thanks, Ralph. I'm going to make too many holes in my tuxedo. You know, it's a rented one. Oh, my God. <laughs> hey, you look beautiful. Thanks so much for coming. Oh, thank you, Mrs. Guthrie. Great party, Eleanor. Oh, well, uh, thank you so much. Uh, oh, uh, you, you remember Ralph. He's been working in your office. Oh, Kate, gee, of course she knows who I am. I've been working there day and night for the last three weeks. Oh, certainly I do. <laughs> your name is, uh... Of course. And thanks so much for your support, Al. <laughs> believe that you've met John Lacey, isn't it? Yes. I have seen you around, and I want to thank you for all your hard work. Oh, and this is my husband, Stephen. Uh, you know Kate, darling. Yes, good to see you again, Kate. Hello. And this is John. Oh, hi, John. And Ralph. All oh, right, of course, Ralph. <laughs> oh, nice to meet you, Ralph. <laughs> oh, come here. Huh? Come here. Oh, there. Now, that's better, isn't it? I guess. Thank you. <laughs> uh, John, uh, you're not going anywhere, are you? No. That's great, because I would love to talk to you. I'll just be a moment. Excuse me, darling. Uh, will you forgive me if I don't drive back to Connecticut tonight with you and the kids? Of course. It's just that I've got this raging headache, and as soon as the party's over, I'm just going to go straight to bed. Don't give it another thought. <laughs> <laughs> now, John. Yes. Yeah. Um, I understand that, uh, you're a school teacher. Yes, that's right. How did you know that? Oh, I, uh, do my homework. <laughs> but the reason I'm asking is that I'm hoping to put through a new education bill after I'm elected. And I would really value your input. Really? Mm-hmm. Oh, I'm... 
You'd really want my opinion? Mm hmm So why don't you come back here tonight and uh, meet me, let's say, around uh, 10-ish? Well, I'm, I'm very flattered, but I have to tell you, I'm not really an expert. Are you sure it's me you want? Oh, yes. <laughs> I'm quite sure. <laughs> Hello? Anybody home? Is that you, John? Uh, yes. I'll be right there. Why don't you make yourself a drink? Am I too early? No, John, you're... right on time. <laughs> uh, Mrs. Guthrie, I'm sorry. Uh, maybe I misunderstood, but you did say tonight at 10? Yes, but I just had to get out of those clothes. <laughs> I hope uh, my being in a robe doesn't embarrass you. Oh, heck, no. No, robes don't bother me. <laughs> uh, I, I've seen a lot of robes. Yeah, I used to be in the Army. <laughs> well, why don't you take off your jacket and get comfortable? You know, since we spoke, I've been given a lot of thought about the problems of education in this city, and I just want to say you that know, I... You know, John, oh, I'm sorry. Uh, I, it's just that I've been at it since 7 o'clock this morning, and my shoulders are killing me. I know it's above and beyond the call of duty, but could you... Oh, sure. <laughs> I think the problem with the curriculum really starts at the junior high school level. Ooh. I think if we're going to change anything, we have to start at the 8th grade. Loa. All right, the seventh grade. <laughs> oh, sorry. Oh. Mm. Plus, I think we have to upgrade teachers' salaries. I mean, right across the board. Do you realize that the starting salary for a teacher in this city is only $23,000? No, lower. No, salaries is one thing I know of. <laughs> oh, <sorry. clears throat> oh, still lower. M Mrs. Guthrie, I, I think I'm running out of back here. <laughs> well, thank you. That was, uh, fine. Why don't you come around and, uh, sit over here? Okay. <sighs> Phew, you really got my blood circulating. Uh, Mrs. Guthrie, I really don't think you should do oh, that. John, relax. <laughs> you are so nervous. Look at you. Oh. Still sitting there with your tie on. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. M M Mrs. Guthrie, <laughs> M Mrs. Guthrie, I... I, I, I <laughs> Uh, listen, I, I've really had a hard day myself. M maybe I should just... Do you know what's great for that? Well... A foot rub. Uh, no, Mrs. Guthrie, you, you really shouldn't do this. Do you know that there are certain areas on your foot that can stimulate other parts of your body? No, I don't <laughs> For example, this spot right here yeah. stimulates your neck. Oh. You feel that? Uh, no. <laughs> oh, yes, yes, a little bit, yes, yeah. And this part right here... Uh, stimulates your lower back. Oh, yes, yes. Isn't that amazing? <laughs> and guess what part of your body this is. Mrs. Guthrie! Uh, uh, just a moment. No, maybe I, I failed to make it clear. You already have my vote. Yes, yes. And I want to show you how grateful I am. Uh, I guess we're not going to talk about education. Uh, are we? Uh, no, uh, please. Please, please. Excuse me, uh, did anybody see a raincoat around here? <laughs> In there, dear. Oh. No. Wait, wait, Scott, wait. <laughs> oh, Mrs. Guthrie, please. M M Mrs. Guthrie, please. Mm -hmm. please. Oh, Guthrie, please. Mm -hmm. uh, I found it. Uh, <laughs> John, you seem to be on top of the political situation, so I'm just going to let myself out. No, wait, sir, wait. Oh, and John, remember, vote early and vote often. Yes. <laughs> no, 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 no. Guthrie, this is terrible. You're a married woman. Oh, John, grow up. If you'll excuse me now, I'm out of here. You know what the worst part is? There are a lot of people out there who don't just support you. They believe in you, and you let them down. I think your disregard for them is totally irresponsible. I have nothing further to say to you. Oh. <laughs> well, let me tell you who those people are. They're people like my friends who really believed in you. Oh, no, they had to choose somebody like you. 
And that's why I meant it when I said I have absolutely nothing more to say to you. <laughs> Except this one thing. There are people like Louise, like Kate, like Ralph. Who's Ralph? Oh, never mind who Ralph is. <laughs> I was talking about one of those people who knocked himself out for you and what thanks does he get you can't even bother to remember his name and let me ask you one thing lady and I want a straight answer where the hell are the stairs around here I am telling you, I saw it with my own eyes. I walked in there, and they're, they're on the floor. They're rolling around. <laughs> 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 Hello, John. Take a wild guess. <laughs> Has Kirk been telling you about me and a certain political candidate? Y yes, John, but we didn't believe him for a minute. He made the outrageous assertion that he found the two of you alone in her apartment, writhing together in the throes of steamy sensuality. <laughs> I did not. I said you were zooming around the floor. I was not zooming anyone. I went up there to discuss an education bill. And she tried to seduce me. You mean it's true? I'm so disillusioned. Imagine how Kate's going to feel. Oh. Maybe we shouldn't mention it to Kate at all. I mean, you know how she idolizes Mrs. Guthrie. That's exactly why we have to tell her. Oh. I guess you're right. We just have to make sure that we uh, break it to her gently. Great news, everybody. Did you read this editorial in today's paper? Eleanor Guthrie is a woman with her finger on the pulse of her constituents. <laughs> it's not all she's got her fingers on, it just... Uh, you remember that uh, little discussion we had, Kirk, huh? You know, this is why we can't let up these last few days before the election. Now, remember... We come through for her now. She'll come through for us. No question, she's ready to come through for some of us. Eh? <laughs> well, what is it with you two? Uh, uh, nothing, nothing. No, look. <laughs> look, I know you're all tired, but I think we need to muster the extra effort to make one final thrust. <laughs> What's going on here? John, please. Kate, uh, this is kind of a delicate situation. Uh, I really don't know how to tell you this. Let me help, John. Uh, your friend Eleanor spent last night trying to get into John's pants. <laughs> what? John, is that true? <laughs> oh, I... Um, I mean, uh... uh <laughs> I did not want this to turn out. Now, if you'll excuse me, Louise, I'm going to go after Kate and try to explain this. John, don't you think you said enough already? <laughs> Hi. So here you are. John, please, I just don't want to talk. Okay, you don't have to talk. 
I feel like such a fool. Oh, you can talk. <laughs> or I can talk. Listen, Kate, I'm really sorry you had to find out about Mrs. Guthrie that way. I don't know how I can face anybody in the group. I mean, I was the one that roped you all into working for that woman. Oh, come on, Kate, it's not your fault. There's no way you could have known. Ever since I can remember, I've, I've always picked lousy boyfriends. I, I married a crummy husband. I'm obviously just a rotten judge of character. Oh, come on, Kate, that's not true. Yes, it is. You know, I wouldn't even know a good man if I tripped over him. Why can't I find a nice guy? Well, you know, you never know when one might turn up. <laughs> Someday, when you least expect it, you could look up from your cup of coffee and notice... Oh, um... no. No way. <laughs> Everywhere I look, I see the same old jerks. <laughs> What I'm trying to say is uh, that I'm sure there is someone. He might be right under your nose. <laughs> he thinks you're terrific. Bright, attractive, and really fun to be with. Oh, yeah, some fun. Who'd love to spend time with you. Who care about you. And who would treat you the way you should be treated. You really think so? I'm... Um, Almost positive. That would be wonderful. You know, that would make me very happy. Oh, thanks for the pep talk, John. You know, you're a real pal. Uh. <laughs> well, I guess I better leave you alone now. But I really wish you would think about what I, what I was saying. Thanks. Yeah, I will. Okay, I, I'm gonna go now. Okay. Bye. Yeah, bye. <clears throat> Guess I'll uh, see you next Friday? Uh, yeah, next Friday. Okay. Yep, next Friday, as usual. Yeah. Right. I'll see you then. Yeah, bye. Bye. John? Yes? Trey's client forces Abby to take the law into her own hands to protect herself. And Sunday night, there's all family fun on the magical world of Disney with an animated classic, Mickey's Christmas Carol, plus scenes from the new Disney movie, Oliver and Company, followed by a family ties crisis and day by day, Sunday.